Hi, I'm Dee Evans-Wood, and um, with our art chat discussions, I'll be talking about um, Juan van Eyck's um, painting of Arno Finney, Arno Finney's marriage, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, it, it's a Flemish portrait, which Eyck is from um, Belgium, which is modern-day Netherlands. Um, and this is actually one of the most analyzed um, and researched paintings in history, um, which I found um, kind of interesting. Um, much of his work was based on religion and Christianity. Um, this was painted during the Northern Re Renaissance, which was a period um, of great prosperity for Burgundy, um, which is modern day um, Belgium, Netherlands. Um, Ar Arno Finney, Ar Arno Finney, um, if, I can't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, Arno Finney married, the marriage, um, which is the gentleman who is in the painting, um, was one of Elk's greatest masterpieces, or Ike's greatest masterpieces, um, which was painted in 1434. Um, it is believed that the painting is a scene of a private wedding um, ceremony, and the painting itself acted as the marriage certificate. Um, of course, that's one interpretation of when the painting was done. Um, it also has been suggested the painting celebrates the continuity of their relationship and married life, or the close relationship between the couple that's in the painting. Um, whatever the situation, um, the painting depicts Ike's um, transposed secular and religious themes, which, as I stated earlier, a lot of his paintings were based on, are based on Christianity. Um, there are those who believe this was um, Arna Finney's wife in the green gown, um, and most believe she was pregnant, but actually during that time period, it was proper for women to lift up the front fabric of their gowns, um, which made her probably look pregnant. Um, I did find out George um, Darley in 1841, um, four centuries after the painting was painted, um, mistakenly assumed that um, the woman in the painting was hiding a baby bump behind the folds of her gown. Um, he also joked that their marriage was of a shotgun marriage um, because she was pregnant and some believed that they were not married yet. Um, this painting was painted in Burgess um, by Ikes which showed a wealthy Italian patron which is Ar Arna fin Finney um, who was originally from Lucca in Tuscany. Um, this is the, because of the painting, this was a sign of Arna Finney's um, wealth and prestige um, and was having this painting done by Ike, who was a highly sought out Flemish painter, um, was also very um, high in wealth standards. Um, when looking at this painting and other paintings from this time period, um, we need to keep in mind that the standards of beauty in the 15th century um, were considerably different um, than in the present time. Um, at the time when so many people were thin due to poverty, um, a plump figure as the woman in the painting was considered more attractive. Um, also at the time when infant mortality rates were quite high, um, women would pad their stomachs um, to look pregnant as if it, as it was desirable to be so, <clears throat> excuse me, which was a sign of wealth, youth, and fertility. However, if you look closely um, at the detail of the bride in the painting, um, she is actually holding up her fabric, as I stated earlier, um, because it was a common thing to do for women when they posed. Um, 
and she's holding it up her waist which bunches the fabric and makes her look as if she's pregnant. It's unknown if she was actually pregnant or if she was trying to look pregnant during the time this painting was um, because it was of course done in the 15th century so it's kind of difficult to go back and know if she actually was pregnant. It's also um, wondered if she is um, his, uh, if this was a picture of Arna Finney and his wife um, after she died. Um, his, it's known that his first wife um, died in 1433 and this painting was not completed and done until 1434 so they're wondering if it's a memory um, based on his first wife. Um, but it's actually very interesting the history behind it. Um, I really enjoyed looking um, further into the history. I did take an art class um, and studied some of this painting, but we did so many paintings that it was hard to go in depth with the history and the meaning. Um, but for this aspect, um, I'll be doing. I'm doing the history. Um, it's also been said throughout history of the painting that. Um, the woman is a familiar face in all of Ike's paintings um, of women. So a lot of people assumed he just used the same faces um, and same features with all the paintings that he did, um, rather than of it being of a specific person. Um, many of the faces are similar with features, and some believe it could just be a style of his painting, which I thought was interesting. Um, so I hope you enjoyed some of the little historic features of this painting as I enjoyed researching them. Um, and I hope you enjoy um, the Prezi. Um, we had some difficulties, David and I, with our Prezi, so I'm hoping me starting this one um, from scratch that you'll be able to view it um, with no issues. But thank you, and um, I enjoyed doing this project. And thanks, David, for your help as well. Thanks.